Not too early to look ahead to the holiday travel forecast. Lonnie's here, but it's hard to predict at this point. At, but at so far, kind of so good-ish, right? Cold air, which okay. is fine for actually the airlines fly better in cold air than than hot air so it looks cold it looks calm for the time being but that's subject to change because still a number of days away here's what we've got outside right now which is also calm but it's not cold it's 50 degrees we hit almost 60 degrees today you were 58 for a high temperature again a clear sky going into your day tomorrow no weather worries for saturday saturday's a thumbs up kind of day it's calm it's 55 maybe a few more clouds than what you had today sunday comes with problems not so much during the day there could be some rain during the day but the heavier rain moves in late Sunday heaviest is going to be midnight until 10 a.m. on Monday and then the rain and the wind doesn't disappear altogether but it does get less intense by the time you get to Monday night so let's take a look at what I'm talking about where the intense rain is where it's less intense this is your Saturday picture looks fine out there again a few more clouds than what we had today today we had like no clouds where's the wet weather is it here by Sunday morning clouds are getting in place by Sunday morning here's 1130 maybe a sprinkle but not much of anything. And we talk about it being later in the day. This is 7 p.m. It's a little bit more prevalent out there, but it's not widespread. But you're seeing a couple of occasional heavier downpours depicted by that orange color. But remember those hours, midnight until 10 a.m. That's the window where this thing really starts to explode. And watch this. 1130 more widespread coverage go past the witching hour and here we are 330 a heavy cell right on top of the city and it stays this way with even some of these real heavy red colored cells coming right over the area watch this right through the morning commute this is 10 a.m. the heaviest activity north of the city still some stragglers out there that will push on through look at that picture at 2 p.m. and now watch this backside of this low bringing in the colder air some of that snow could possibly even creep towards the city towards the city not a lot. We're talking, you know, three tenths in Sparta, two tenths in Newburgh. New York City, however, could possibly see, you know, not a tenth, maybe like a, a, a one hundredth of an inch, a little, a little flurry coming through the city. Maybe a coating out there. Maybe it's measurable. But this is clearly a rainmaker. One and a half to three inches of rain throughout the area. Uh, that's the European study, but all of the studies are basically on board. The big three are all saying numbers just like that. What about winds? Well, Saturday, 9 p.m., the winds aren't doing too much of anything, but boy, do they ramp up as you go from Sunday into Monday morning. 5 a.m., 30s, 40s, even some 50-mile-per-hour gusts out there. That's a tough scene. By Monday night, the winds are much less. So your timeline looks like this. Sunday afternoon showers, heavy rain is late. Overnight is the worst of it with the heavy rain and the strong winds. And then Monday, it's a tough morning commute, not as bad for your evening commute. So if we pull up the seven-day forecast you'll see the red alert for the tail end of Sunday into your day on Monday after that we are in the 40s for next week with really not too much going on but this is a lot to be going on yeah. exactly one week after what was a big storm sure. truly all right thank, thank you Lonnie you. Okay, guys.